So you started 25 years ago, mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think it would be where it is today? No, I, I didn't think it would last more than a year. Because I had a fight to get the videos on TV. Everybody said you can't do it. Because I started out on sort of the, when public access first started. Mm -hmm. And they said you can't play videos, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I just did it. So you got to break the rules. And you got to do what you feel is right. And and I would do commercials for radio stations, and like uh, they would send us a one-inch master tape. Back when the record companies are really cool, on the same reel there would be Peter Murphy. And so I go, nobody's playing Peter Murphy. And when Peter came into the studio, he says, "You're the only show in America that's playing it." And I was literally, he said he was going to move to Turkey, and he was never ever going to do music videos or do anything again. And because we played him gave him the incentive, so that's why I do the show. One of the questions I wanted to ask was, uh, uh, we know you have lots of fun stories in the past 25 years, can you give us a few of the highlights and maybe even a few secret stories that oh God. people don't know about? There are so many great stories, and you know, I wish I could tell all the good stories, because I got this one tape, this is JBTV XXX, <laughs> and I have things on tape probably that are not legal, Okay. Uh, that we've done with artists. I mean, so I don't really want to say, but all I can say is I got a lot of great stuff. <laughs> Top five crazy stories. Don't want to tell the story, but just tell it. Afghan wigs, Greg Dooley, Billy, the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, remember the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow? Okay. Better from Pearl Jam. Oh. Uh, drank bile on stage. Yeah, this is with Mr. Lifto. Now, Mr. Lifto is this guy that puts things on his on his penis what and, and lifts right? these big <laughs> blocks. We have that on tape. And then Jim Rose did Puppetry of the Penis. Uh, well, of course, uh, the Cottonmouth Kings. <laughs> We've had some great times in the studio. Let's just say it was a uh, an aroma-filled afternoon of excitement at JVTV. I'm sure this was actually public knowledge yet, so I didn't want to say anything about it. Um, he had mentioned that one thing was you guys were going to go to uh, NBC, and the other was that um, you guys were going to be have your own reality TV show. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we've been approached a number of times about a reality TV show. The problem is, reality TV shows go, well, you know, we got to have some tension. Like, while you're interviewing, could you maybe punch them? Right. <laughs> maybe you could start a fight, you know. I don't want that camera here or something stupid. If they want to create tension that's fake. To me, that's not reality. And JBTV's been the only show that's been the real deal. Like, I don't wear makeup, our guests don't wear makeup. We it's, real it's the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you tell I can barely trim it? <laughs> Is there one thing you'd like to plug or talk about um, that we can get out there through um, a Chicago thing .com. Support JBTV and all the local bands out there because uh, there's so many great bands that just don't get the exposure they need.